Hey what's up guys, my name is Julian from SmartphoneFilmmakingPro.com The ultimate online course when it comes to smartphone filmmaking. In this video I will show you two creative transitions that you can create with just your phone and no add-ons whatsoever. A lot of people seem to be a little intimidated because they thought well they have to spend hundreds of dollars into software and gear to be able to create nice looking videos. So in this video we will just use our phone and a free software that works on Android and and on iOS. And by the way, I often get asked whether people have to have an iPhone to follow the course. And the answer is, well, of course not. You can follow the course no matter what phone you have. So there is that. And before I start with the video, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you that have already joined the course. I'm super happy to have you on board. And in case you are not a member of Smartphone Filmmaking Pro yet, I just wanted to recommend to you that you should watch the webinar because it's jam packed with free valuable information for you all. And if you consider buying the course, well then I would recommend that you do that before Monday the 21st of September because the 50% off deals will end on Sunday night. So so just keep that in mind. But now let's finally start with the video and the first transition. And the first transition is the whip pan transition. And that's what the final results should look like. I really like to use this shot for changing up location or just spicing up my videos in general. And I think this creates a very nice effect to basically any video. And how is it done? Well, you basically just film a static shot and then in the end you whip the camera into one direction. Up, down, left, right, whatever. It's all possible. So whatever direction you prefer, it will work just fine. And then you just go to your next location and this time you start the clip by whipping in the exact same direction as you ended the last clip. But yeah, that's basically it for the shooting process. And I will now show you how you can edit those clips together on your smartphone. Okay, so the app that we are gonna be using for this one is called Adobe Premiere Rush, which is like basically the baby brother of Premiere Pro, which you can see in the background right here. When you open it for the very first time, you need to put in an email address. And if you have done that, you will see this screen that you can see right now. We're just gonna say create a new project. So I just called mine transition and I do not want to import the sample footage that Adobe gives me because I have shot my own footage. So I'll just go to camera roll and for the whip pan transition, I will take this clip and also this one and then just click on create. And now it says preparing and now you have successfully created your first video project. So generally speaking, the editing process for those two clips is very simple. I've just shot two clips. So the first one, if we watch it back, I'm just holding my camera still. And in the end, I whip to the right. So if we play it back, that's what the raw clip looks like. And what we need to do is we need to cut whilst I am in the movement. So I'm just gonna set my cut right here. And you can set a cut if you just slide down here to the right. And there you will find this scissor tool. Just tap on it. And now it has separated those two clips. And we wanna delete this one. So we will just tap on the bin. And the second clip I start by whipping into the same direction. So I'm also whipping to the right and then I show the brick wall. So we will also search for a spot where I'm in full movement. So I'll just take this spot right now, just gonna scroll to the right again, tap on the scissor, and then I will delete this clip by just tapping on the bin. And now if we play the video back, Well, you can see we have a perfect and seamless transition. So the next transition that I want to show you is the dip to black transition. Well, at least that's what I call it. But I will just show you very quickly what the final result is going to look like. And this transition is also ideal for changing up location or just adding up production value to your videos because it's just a cool effect. And basically you film your shot as you like it. And in the end, you have to put your lens against something that covers it completely. And this could either be a hand, another person, a wall or whatever. It's just important that you cover the lens as good as possible. And the following shot starts by covering your lens once again. And that's basically it. After that, you can film whatever you like. It will always be a seamless transition. So that's it for the shooting process. And I will now show you once again how you can edit those clips together on your smartphone. Okay, so we are back here inside of Adobe Premiere Rush and I have already imported the second two clips. 
And this time I have a clip where I'm standing just in front of a window. And the second clip I am filming a cat and we want to do this like dip to black transition. So if we watch the first clip back, you see I'm just standing in front of the window and in the end I just cover the camera so that it's completely dark. So we want to set a cut right here where I cover the camera so that it is completely black. So we will just tap on the scissor tool and we will again delete this clip. So we'll just tap on the bin. And as you can see, the second clip starts by me covering the camera once again. We basically can just leave it as it is. And if we play back, you can see it creates this nice effect and I really like it. So as you can see, it's actually very simple to get some creative transition with no extra money spent on gear whatsoever. And I actually shoot a ton of videos just handheld with no extra add-ons whatsoever. For example, the entire epic B-roll sequence was just shot handheld with my iPhone. And most of the workout video was also just shot handheld. So the possibilities are endless. Inside of Smartphone Filmmaking Pro, you can find over 40 plus tutorials and more are added constantly. If you want to get even more